Hi everyone, welcome back. In my last video, I created this powder room enlargement file and I set it up from scratch. Now I have this powder room fan as well as its four internal elevations. And what I'm gonna do with this video is present all of this on a sheet in my sheet set. So if you watched my list of drawings video, you'd know that I already created a powder room enlargement sheet. So I'll just double click that to have it open and go back to my drawing. Now let's get straight to it. So I'll start by hitting the V key then the spacebar on my keyboard to open the view manager and then I'll click new to create my first view of the powder room plan. Then I'll click this icon to define the window of my view. I'll zoom in and go over the frame that we prepped in my last video. Click OK and then click new again to create a view for the first elevation. Powder room elevation 1. Define window. Enter. Click OK and now I'll close this window because I want to change the orientation and go to UCS2. So I'll type in plan and then C for current. Now I can create the view for this elevation. V spacebar new powder room elevation 2. Define window. Enter. OK. Close view manager and I'll repeat the same steps for my two remaining elevations. Now I'll save the work that I've done here so I can move to the sheet and I'll go to the model views tab in sheet set manager and look for my powder room enlargement file and expand that. And as you can see, all the views that I just created appeared under it. So I'll start by selecting the powder room plan to drag it onto my sheet. And what I have here is a preview of the plan at 1 to 100, which is the scale I defined in my drawing file. So I'll right click to select the scale I want it to appear in, 1 to 50, and I'll place it on my sheet. Now this window appears for the view label block details, but they're all grayed out because I'm using fields to have the label pull the information automatically from the views. For more details on how I did that, please check my view label block video that I'm going to link here. But basically what I'm saying is that I'm not going to change anything here, I'm just going to click OK. And as you can see, my label appeared with the correct view title and scale. And now I'll zoom out so I can drag in the rest of my views. Now I'll follow a little protocol that I do for my viewports. So I'll select all of them and then I'll go to the bottom right and click the padlock icon to lock them. And I'll place them on the depth points layer so their frames don't appear when I print. And now I'll select each one and turn off the grid for it. And then I'll move to the sheet views tab and expand the views of my latest sheet. I'll right click the powder room plan and then click rename and renumber so I can add the view number for it. So this is 01. I'll click OK and I'll do the same thing for the rest of my views. 02. Next. Now I'll type in RE8 regenerate and you'll see that the view numbers appeared on the view label block. And finally, I'll just tidy up my sheet. Now I'll hit Ctrl P on my keyboard and on this window, I'll click preview to see what the sheet would look like when I print. And as you can see, the viewport frames are invisible and the labels are legible, and there's plenty of space for annotation for each elevation in its designated box. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching.